You are looking live at the famed Horseshoe in Columbus, Ohio. For a visiting team, this is one of the toughest venues in all of sport. Ohio State rules this domain. For Joe Paterno at Penn State, they haven't won here in 30 years. That's 30 years. And the guys know game day in Columbus, Ohio is special. The captains and the coach, the afternoon skull session with many of the fans. Then the walk over to the stadium and the visitors from Happy Valley. The young star for the Buckeyes and Daryl Clark now in uniform. And look who's here, LeBron James as the stars come out for this one. over to the right. They're going to throw from this formation and Pryor, who can run, is going to leg it for the first down. There he is getting outside for the first time here tonight. You know, Kirk, a ton of confidence coming into this game. Now they bring in Brandon Sane. Terrell steps away, throws complete for the first down. Sanzenbacher, Dane Sanzenbacher, the sophomore from Toledo. Pryor forced on the run, picking up the first down, however, as he puts it in Beanie Wells' hands. Stadium and have a road team favor. Quick toss out to the flanker. Right, check that. That is Jordan Norwood. Who can Buckeyes moving around, trying to confuse Clark, and they get to him. A dangerous throw by the quarterback as he was going down, but it's incomplete as a normal. Backside for Penn State's defense, and now you're seeing a lot of Gibson here, who's moved from linebacker to defensive end this year. The sophomore from Euclid just chasing down the speedster Derek Williams from the backside. Norwood's not going to get it off. He's going to be sacked. They fail to convert that third down, and the Nittany Lions will punt again. Abdallah and Gibson, and Gibson is off to a monstrous night. Now this Penn State offensive line doesn't give up sacks very often. Six on the entire year. This time, the play didn't even have a chance to develop before that defensive line led by Thaddeus Gibson again in the face of Darrell They show a linebacker blitz. Hull is picked up. Pryor has time and tosses for the first down to Robisky. Butler motions through. They're going to throw to Williams. And it was read beautifully by the Buckeyes. They were not fooled as he slipped out. And coming over was Jermail Hines, a sophomore safety from Cleveland. Well, one thing you could count on, Ohio State's defense has their eye on Derek Williams. They've seen him all week in practice. Anytime number two is not out at receiver and he's in the backfield, I'm sure there's some kind of call. Royster picks his way. About a yard, and uh, he's going to let him throw. Over the top, wide open for a first down. Zanzenbacher, and he makes it deep into Nittany Lion territory. Blown coverage by the Nittany Lions. That's exactly right. And I think they might be wondering themselves, exactly, here he is, and he's just going to sneak out, and there's confusion by the defensive backs. Watch the Penn State defensive backs by being cleared out. It opens up a huge void and a miscalculation by Penn State's defense. Tony Davis runs and clears out. Tyrell sails to linebacker 46. He comes up because of the fear of Pryor's running, and then there's just a huge void. Him down, short of the first down. This is why you never give up on a play as a defensive lineman, especially on a screen. You have to chase it from the backside, and that is a huge hit by the sophomore Hayward. 290 pounds, close to off and running, and that's what Penn State's had success with is containment after he runs. Third and nine, snaps it off. Very close to a first down. We'll see what it's Deep down the sideline, Robisky 
goes in the air and snatches it down at the 27 yard line. Do they have enough time to get that tying field goal? You bet. They've yep. got one timeout. Tie the game here in the first half. High snap, pulled down beautiful. And he ties it. Excellent job by the holder. John Toma that time, who yanked a high snap down and had a perfect hold. Cloud, the horseshoe in Columbus. Third down, Clark's going to keep it, but he won't get that first down on that play. Not the way the Buckeyes have clogged the line here tonight. They're doing a good job in the middle. That's been an area that's been an Achilles heel earlier in the year for Ohio State. They just weren't getting a lot of plays, but now we're starting to see that interior, the defensive line, start to make plays last week and again. Going to throw for this one. Play fake and a throw on first down. Got an open receiver. Brandon Sane, who checked in as one of the running backs. Number three, an outstanding receiver. Brent, they broke a tendency here. Now they're in the eye. Watch this right here because the defense is so concerned with running the football. Now he's a freshman, cut him some slack, but look at the tight end walking down the middle of the field. They broke a tendency of running and running and running on first and ten. And Penn State is a receiver. Third down and seven. Comes back to the sideline and the ruling catch at the 26 yard line by Robisky. They're saying he got the foot down and this is a splendid catch by Robisky. Let's take a look at it. It's a heck of an effort to catch the football and then try to get the right foot down right there. Both officials. And Trapasso is going to put it down. Slides it in. Bucket. Straight handoff this time, and Beanie breaks tackle or two. Close to midfield. Daryl Clark. Terrell Pryor fumble. Loose ball. Knock free. Big loose ball. Big scrum. Looks like the Lions may have bounced on it. It looked like Bowman may have gotten to the ball and recovered it. This is a great scrum because one of the defensive players knocked it further back so it could not be recovered by a Buckeye. This is your key play, perhaps. Take a big look at this, folks. That was not a good effort at first throw. This time, receiver open, hits him at the 40-yard line. And Small ducks back. Defensive end who gets around not only Beanie Wells, but the tight end that time, Jake Ballard. It wasn't Brian Browning, but the tight end forcing Terrell Pryor to move off to the right and then just throw it up and hope somehow that Brian Hartline could come down with it. Last week it worked. This time it does it. Penn State remains undefeated. And there was Tom Bradley, of course, the defensive coordinator out with Jim Trestle. Go, go, go. MVPs of this defensive battle. Navarro Bowman with 10 tackles, one pass breakup, but the most important thing is the fumble recovery, which set up the touchdown. The defensive line for the Buckeyes stood out all night long, so we will honor the two defenses. And Chevrolet will donate $1,000 to the Each University General Scholarship Fund. Lisa? Thanks, Brandon. I'm with Pat Devlin.